One of Katy Perry's latest Instagram posts has over 256,000 likes, but the comment section shows that not everyone is exactly liking it. Today's episode of Newsfeed is brought to you by Pandora Premium, where you can search and play your favorite songs. Pandora sounds like you. Some Instagram users think that Katie has some explaining to do. Have you ever felt a certain way and wanted to share it with your 63.5 million followers? Okay, we may not have that many followers, but we can all relate to that, right? Yesterday, Katy Perry posted this photo of Hindu goddess Kali Ma with the caption, current mood. Now, many found the post to be highly offensive. One Instagram user wrote, you can't use a picture of goddess Kali to express your mood. Goddess Kali symbolizes victory of good over evil. I hope you realize your mistake. I hope goddess Kali will forgive you. Another user wrote, ma'am, these are our gods. Please don't disrespect them. Now, if you go check out the comment section on that photo, you will see that the backlash is pretty intense but not everyone has something negative to say. One person says, first of all, Kali is the goddess of destruction. She symbolizes that you must destroy the wrong and bad to make room for good. And our religion has taught us to be accepting. So in my opinion, if Katy Perry's current mood is goddess Kali, then I don't see what is wrong with it. We as Indians should find it flattering that anyone is choosing to express themselves through our mythological heritage. Someone else said, be happy that people out there who are not Hindus also know about our culture. Don't try to be a self-proclaimed savior of Hinduism. Now, Katie, who has stated in the past that she doesn't tie herself down to one religion, married Russell Brand in a beautiful Hindu ceremony in India back in 2010, and we're sure she didn't mean to offend anyone with this post, but people have a right to express how they feel. But I wanna know how you feel about all this, so do you think that what Katie posted was offensive, or do you think people are overreacting? You know what to do, let us know in the comment section below, and thanks so much for tuning in to Clever News. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm your host, Emil Anish Jr., and I'll see you next time. Now click here to find out what Katie has to say about her strict upbringing in a new interview, and to the right for all things we know so far about Harry's solo album, and thanks again to Pandora for sponsoring this episode. Now with Pandora Premium, where personalized radio meets on-demand listening, it's the only music app you'll ever need.